Hi everybody, my name is Andrea Kennedy and I'm going to present to you the third lesson in the Hidden Wild Project. Um, and this lesson deals with the standard for human impact and waterways. So the first thing that I want to point out is that everything you need for this lesson is hyperlinked. Um, and everything in this lesson can be done completely virtual or it can be, you know, printouts laminated with pencil and paper. It's up to you. Um, and the second thing that I wanted to point out is that, or the third thing is that um, th there's a slide deck here. And if you open that up, it's going to open to a teacher guide. Um, and it's just a slide deck. But what what it does is it goes through the lesson plan um, E by E and under here is things for you, notes for you, um, you know, things that you might want to focus on or things you might want to ask the kids or what to have ready ahead of time. So it just kind of walks you through what you're supposed to do, but it also serves as um, something that you could project for the kids to give them you know, every, every aspect of the lesson is in here, but there's also slides that you could just project and here are the directions. Here's what you're supposed to do. So um, you could just use this alongside the lesson plan. So I tried to make it as simple as I could. Um, so the first part of the lesson is the engage piece and it's titled 70 miles in seven days. And it's the short video clip that you're going to show the students. Um, it's 10 minutes. It's also here on the teacher guide. It's uh, linked in here. Um, and there's some guiding questions here. So you're going to, you know, project the guiding questions somewhere and just, you know, ask them to keep these questions in mind as they're watching the video. Um, you know, some kids, you might want to tell them, get out some scrap paper and, you know, jot down your answers while you're watching or, um, but the point is just basically to get their reflection on the video that they've watched. And so once they've done that, you're going to have them create a video blog, just a quick, you know, one to two minute blog, um, sharing their thoughts on the video based on the guided questions. So I hyperlinked a Flipgrid in here. Um, you can you know, just copy the one that I already made, um, or you can make your own if you have your own Flipgrid account. I also put in here that the kids could use a video format of their own. So they could post something to their own Instagram and tag you in it. Um, and I put some um, hashtags here and some people to tag. Um, but I... I put in here, you know, they could use TikTok, they could use Twitter, just as long as they're blogging their reflection. And then the second part would be the Explore. And the Explore is titled Journey Through the Glades. And this is the this is the meat of the lesson. Like this is where they're gonna gain their new information. Um so there's a thing link hyperlinked here. They're going to click on that and it's going to open up um, here for them. And it's a Google Earth image of South Florida. When they press on play, it's going to give them the direction. It's going to tell them exactly what to do. Hi, students, and welcome. To um, so if you had to assign this, you know, to a kid that was absent or whatever, they, they have the directions, they should be able to do it. Along with this, you're going to assign the logbook. And the logbook, again, has the directions for the kids. Uh, you know, if for whatever reason, you know, some kids need the directions more than once, they're here. The link is also posted here. And then it gives them several locations throughout South Florida and little, you know, scratch paper. Um, so the directions are going to advise them to start at the red video camera. And when they go here, they're going to meet Alex, the alligator, and he's going to give them some information and tell them what, what their task is. And it's basically like a scavenger hunt. 
they have to go through each one of these locations. And as they get to each location, they're going to meet a character. Each character has a name and each character is um, specific to their, their environment. So they're going to listen to a sort of little podcast from that character. And that character is going to tell them about the specific environmental impacts um, at their at their location. If you didn't want to do this in a digital version, there is uh, character scripts for each one of the characters, which are linked here. And that's going to take you to a Google Drive folder. And in that Drive folder, every single character that is at each one of these locations you know, it's, it's, it's a photo of the character and then um, everything that they say in the podcast. So if you wanted to do it, you know, just paper and pencil, you could just print those out and post them around the room and sort of have, have, have the kids do a, ca uh, a carousel. Or there are some kids that maybe are listening and they need to have the words there in front of them. Maybe they need the visual. So you might want to have them printed out and, you know, have it available for the kids. The reason why I made it um, an, an audio activity is because I didn't want the kids to be able to copy and paste. I wanted them to really listen to the character and get the information, you know, straight from the character um, without just, you know, copy and pasting. So they're, they're instructed by the alligator at each location they visit. Um, they're going to put pertinent information down at the location. So let's say the first location they go to, uh, is the Loxahatchee river and they're going to meet this, this plant. So they're going to come over here to their logbook. They're going to find Loxahatchee river. They're going to put who they met and what, um, what they learned at that site. The order that they visit the different sites in doesn't matter as long as they get to each site. And each site they go to is going to direct them to several other sites. So they have a choice of where they go. And if you're doing this um, as a physical activity, you shouldn't have a whole bunch of kids grouped up in one location. Um, they're also advised that this logbook is really important because they're going to use it for every other part of the lesson. So they have to get this. Um, in the lesson plan, there is a teacher cheat sheet, which is for you. Um, and it has right here, um, when you open it up, it has what they should have found at each location. Um, you know, just, just key points of what they should have gotten at each location. Um, and so the logbook is, is the product that they need at the end of this assignment. Then the next part is the explain. And this is a persuasive letter to save our glades. So I styled it to the governor. You could, you know, send it to some sort of agency or, you know, whatever municipality you want them to send it to. But basically they're, they're writing an essay in letter form. Um, and so they're going to use their logbook and everything they've learned at the different locations in South Florida. And they're going to compose a persuasive letter to whatever municipality you, you, you determine. Um, and they're going to lay out the facts of, you know, what, what is affecting each of these locations or a few of the locations, um, and what we can do as a community to, to help mitigate those impacts. So there is a planning sheet, um, or sort of an outline and It goes through the different paragraphs and what they should be talking about at in each paragraph. There's also teacher notes for you. Um, 
you know, things that you might want to tell the kids to focus on, but it's basically an outline sheet. So this is probably going to take you two days because the first day they're going to be, you know, taking the information from the logbook and putting it into their planning sheet. Second class is when they're going to take that outline and turn it into a letter. Um, the next part would be the elaborate. And the elaborate is titled going on in the glades and this is a choice board so basically they're just taking the knowledge that they've learned and they are putting it back to you or to someone um via their choice so when you click on that it's going to open it up and it's going to give you different learning styles and what might be interesting to them so they're basically just going to create some product to inform you of the information that they've gathered in their journey through south florida at the different locations some of these are going to require more assistance than others for example um there's the intrapersonal which has them interviewing people from different agencies, gaining insight on the issues affecting the Everglades. For example, if you talk to South Florida Water Management, if you talk to somebody from there, they're gonna have very different ideas versus talking to somebody from Florida Fish and Wildlife. So, you know, it would be important for the kids to see all sides of the issues. Um, but that particular thing is going to require some assistance from you because you're going to have to put them in touch with these agencies. Um, and so this is sort of meant to be like a, like a long-term ongoing thing because um, you really want them to put a lot of effort into it. And there are some modifications here um, for time purposes or for... Um, you know, specific IEPs or 504s, um, just to sort of condense that information, especially, you know, for time constraints to make the lesson go faster. Um, the next part is the evaluate, and this is a nature guide to the glades. So this is, this is really, um, this one is, they have more more decision making over how they're going to do this. So basically, they're just creating a one page visual guide, um, assuming that someone is coming to Florida who has no idea about the Everglades, you know, maybe they're coming from another country, and they have no idea about the ecosystems that we have in South Florida. And so they're sort of creating um, like a travel document. But I said that this could be a one pager like a um, on on paper that they do. You could assign them, you know, two to four to a group and they could make a giant poster. Um, they could make a digital web page. Um, this is really up to you and up to them how they want to do that. But the goal is for them to create a travel guide um, to let people know about all of the diverse habitats that we have here in South Florida. And that's pretty much it for this lesson. Um, again, I just want you to keep in mind that all of those things are here on the, on the teacher slides, um, as well as some um, questions, guiding questions. So at each part of the lesson, there's sort of an opening um, class discussion where they can talk with a partner or you can lead a class discussion. Um, but I put the questions in here for you. So you could just open up this, this slide deck and just teach straight from here. And it's got everything there for you. Please, if you notice anything that you think I could change or we could improve, please reach out to me and let me know. Um, I, I love the constructive criticism and I would love to know what works and what doesn't work. Thank you so much.